What is going on guys, it is our Hammond Games here. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Uh, I hope I am as well. In today's video, we are actually going to be going through and trying my four least favorite G Fuel flavors. I was gonna do my top five least favorite G Fuel flavors uh, that you guys saw in yesterday's video, but because of the fact that I don't have any more orange caffeine free, I have to do the four. So uh, that's why you're seeing four shaker cups right here. So today we are gonna be retrying Blood Orange, Twisted Candy, which this one, this one's gonna be interesting, I think. And then uh, strawberry shortcake. So we're gonna be trying all these today. We're gonna go simply one at a time. Uh, so right now, I think to kick off the video, this will probably be somewhat of a long video as well. One of my longer videos because of the fact that we do have to go through and try all these again. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one at a time. So this has got the half serving. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do coconut in this one first really fast here. Um, so let's go ahead and get this ready. Make sure that the powder is still good because it's supposed to expire this month, honestly. Yeah, still smells good. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and dump the half serving of coconut in here. I've not had coconut since I did the coconut and um, the battle juice mix. So we'll see if my opinion about coconut has changed at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put whichever one we're trying first back here with the sticker. We're just gonna showcase it back here or at least try to all right let's go ahead and shake coconut up all right so coconut is all shaken up now um we got half of a serving of it and let's go ahead and try this and so for this video i'm gonna kind of forget about the old ranking completely and i'm gonna go off of my taste buds for a new ranking uh typically i try to implement okay maybe some people would like this maybe some people don't like this and i try to combine them together into what it would be so Today we're just going to go strictly off me since this is my least favorite, uh, so let's go ahead and have a taste of coconut. Honestly, I don't think it's as bad as it was when I first tried it. Yeah. It's definitely not as bad as when I first tried it. Um, could I see myself getting more of this flavor? Probably not. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's still a little bit too sweet for my taste buds. Um, which is weird, because coconut... I, I wouldn't think that coconut would be super overly kill sweet, but it is, so... But I will give it the benefit of a doubt that it doesn't taste as bad as I remember it. So for coconut, we're going to go ahead and give it... Let's start off with a 3 out of 5. I think that's a good starting point for this least favorites list. Um, so coconut, 3 out of 5 for round 2 of trying it. Alright, so next up, I think that we should just continue sticking with packets and we'll go blood orange for this one. We're going to make the full serving of blood orange because this is the last packet I have of blood orange and I don't plan on buying more unless you guys request a mix with blood orange. So we're going to go ahead and rip the top off here on blood orange. The reason why I didn't like Blood Orange is because it did have a really bad aftertaste. Now, if it didn't have the bad aftertaste, I know I would like this flavor because it's a very, like, I don't know, I don't want to say sweet flavor, uh, but it is a good flavor, just the aftertaste kills it. All right, let's go ahead and shake up some Blood Orange. All right, so I would say Blood Orange is ready to go here. Let's go ahead and have a taste. That's what's nice about these. I've already had these, so I don't have to do a smell test or anything like that. Um, I do have a review for most of these up on the channel. The only one that I don't think I've reviewed yet on the channel is Strawberry Shortcake. That review will be coming uh, at a later time, but we're going to go ahead and try this. Yeah, yeah, it still has just a really bad aftertaste. Um, this flavor would be a lot better without the aftertaste. That's all I'm going to drink of it. Um, so going back on this one, if I had to give this one a rating, I'd probably give it um, 
you know, I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5 as well because the upfront flavor is nice, the aftertaste is what kills it, and that's the sad part about it because I feel like this flavor does have potential to be a good flavor, uh, but the aftertaste just completely ruins it, so that's why I'm going to rank it 3 out of 5. Next up, we have our first tub of the two tubs. We're going to go strawberry shortcake next. We're going to make a full scoop of strawberry shortcake. Now, typically, when I make strawberry shortcake, I add extra strawberry shortcake in it. Um, that's what I have found to like. Um, so I might do that here in this video as well. Um, I, I don't know. I think overall it's still just a little bit too light of a flavor. You know, let's do this. Let's start off with only doing one scoop. And then if I want to add more, I'll add more. Let's do that. So we've got strawberry shortcake. Let's go ahead and shake it up. All right. So I would say strawberry shortcake is good and mixed and ready to go. Review of Strawberry Shortcake is coming soon on the channel. Um, I'm going back and reviewing all the flavors that I've had before I started my YouTube channel, so that'll be soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and have a taste of this one right here. Yeah, see, to me, one scoop of it is just a really light flavor. Um, it's really not too bad. Um, I'll give it that. I think I rag on it more than anything. Um, it's really not that bad. My thing is, is it's very finicky, and I've said this before. If you put too much water in it, it's too watered down, and it could be too much ice cubes, it's too watered down, and stuff like that, and honestly, when it's watered down, it tastes disgusting, but... That seems like a perfect mix of water, ice cube, and stuff like that. I'm just going to add a little bit more powder to get the more pop flavor to it. Um, to get the more of that strawberry shortcake flavor to it. Um, but this is how I typically make strawberry shortcake now because I know that if I only do one scoop and I have too much water, it's not going to taste good enough. So let's go ahead and add this to it. Now let's go ahead and retry it once again. Still a really light flavor. Um, I almost think that when you add the extra powder in it, it does help just a little bit. Not too much though. Um, it's not that bad of a flavor. If I had to give this one a rating, I'd probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5. Um, that's probably the highest that I'll give one in this video just because I feel like strawberry shortcake, I could see myself drinking it. Uh, it's just not going to be one of my reach to go to first favorite flavors. Obviously, it didn't make the top 10 list, um, but I would probably reach to this one before any of the other ones on the list. Uh, so that's why I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. And finally, it is moment of truth time. It has been a while since I've had this flavor and you guys know every time I've had it, I have not liked it. We've got twisted candy so my personal probably one of my least favorite g fuel flavors obviously you guys saw the list yesterday um and we're gonna see if that's changed at all we're we're even going all out twisted candy we're putting it in the twisted candy shaker cup or the 2019 color changing shaker cup or whatever it is um so we're gonna get a full scoop of twisted candy it has been a minute since i've had just straight twisted candy uh, I typically, I've been doing it with mixes lately, and you guys saw the mix that I did this week with it. It actually wasn't too bad of a flavor overall, so, and that was my two least favorite flavors mixed together, so that's something right there. Okay, hang on, I'm going to twist this back around here. So we've got the beautiful Twisted Candy right there. I, I, I will say, I think the tub is sweet for it. Uh, it's just very disappointing that it's not... It's not, it's not as good as I'd hope it to be. So let's go ahead and shake it up and see if that's changed. All right, we've got Twisted Candy all mixed up here, here in our ch color changing shaker cup. Let's go ahead and have a taste here. This is the moment of truth. Has, has Twisted Candy changed at all in my opinion? Alright, so, 
it I'm gonna be honest it has not changed in my opinion I still don't think it's that great of a flavor um, I, I personally don't think it's as bad as I've made it out to be that's what I'm learning as I'm going through all these flavors because if you guys don't know I I film these videos ahead of time and I have already tried green apple that video is coming out um, this upcoming week uh, so hype train for that uh, but I have tried green apple already so now I have sitting here today I have tried every single G Fuel flavor other than new flavors that are yet to come out so because of this it's kind of opening my eye that yes these are my least favorite flavors but they're not as bad as I thought that they were you know Twisted Candy is not as bad as I thought. Like I said, I would still probably rank it pretty low on my list. Uh, I would still be in my top five least favorite favors. Maybe I wouldn't put it at number two, and maybe I wouldn't talk as much crap about it on stream anymore. But uh, it's still not one of my go-to flavors. But I gotta say, I, I think if it didn't have the aftertaste that it has, I would actually really like this flavor, honestly. Yeah. Disappointing. Um, the, that was that was one of my most overhyped flavors, in my opinion, because I was like super hyped that Twisted Candy was coming out. Uh, it sounded really good, and then it flopped, in my opinion. So, Twisted Candy, let me get one more drink here. You know what, though? It's not as bad as I remember it, honestly. So I think... I think I would reach for this before Coconut and Blood Orange, honestly. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to give Twisted Candy, like, a 3.2. I'll rank it right in the middle of all of them. Um, I think that it has improved for me. I think that my taste might have changed a little bit because I think that it's not as bad of a flavor now as it was when I first tried it and all that crap that I've talked about it up to this point. So maybe it's changed and maybe it'll change again to me liking it more. Um, but right now, it's it's still one of my least favorites, but it's definitely moved up and it's ranking just a little bit for me because after the Twisted Candy video, I moved it down. I had it rated at like a two, so uh, it's definitely moved up, so... Maybe it'll move up more. Who knows? But other than that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button down below. Remember to subscribe for more videos here on the channel. Like I said, we've got an unboxing coming out this weekend. Also, we've got the green apple taste test next week. Super excited about that. We should also be hearing some news about Roman Atwood's flavor here soon, if we haven't already. Uh, so I am hyped about that. Hopefully you guys are as well. And yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.